All right, everyone. So recently, the internet has been buzzing with talk about a new patent taken out by Apple that allows a third party to remotely deactivate your camera. Now, Apple says this is for use at concerts, theaters, and areas where proprietary information should not be recorded, and this includes sensitive police areas. So I'm sure that a lot of you have heard of this patent or heard someone talk about it, but I bet they got it all wrong. See, this patent isn't just to disable your camera. This is a patent to wirelessly control your device. In the summary for this patent application, it specifically states restricting access to certain applications or certain functions of a mobile device. I'm paraphrasing, but in another line taken from the patent filing, it says, in a certain event, when the wireless device associates with an access point, various aspects of the device's functionality may be enabled or restricted. Quote, covert police or government operations may require complete blackout conditions. Additionally, the wireless transmission of sensitive information to a remote source is one example of a threat to security. This not only can disable your camera, it can disable anything, even the phone itself, and it does this using wireless communications. So then there's geofencing. They can set up a perimeter around a certain area with certain wireless access points, cell towers maybe, where as soon as you enter that location, your device doesn't work, or they disable a certain aspect of it. Let's say you're at a protest, let's say you're at a big event, let's say you're at a crime scene, or who knows what, and a special interest doesn't want you sharing that information. You can walk right in, and now your camera won't turn on. In some instances, governments have used cell phone jamming or wireless communication jamming to stop people from being able to share information with each other. The problem with this is that it restricts the government's use of this technology as well. By disabling key functions of a phone, like the ability to make a phone call or send a text message, or even by disabling popular apps like Twitter, Facebook, and other social media, they can seriously inhibit the ability for people to share information. And then by using proprietary communication tools, they can make sure their lines of communications remain open.